is Ryan Garcia trolling? Now, that's the question that everybody has been asking, I want to say, for like the past week, which is so much, so much surrounding his name. Um, and now I see this video of him pretty much exploding. I wouldn't even say exploding, but just venting about Logan Paul and, and KSI. Now, I don't, I personally don't think that uh, Ryan Garcia is, is, is crazy um, at all. But, you know, I, I definitely think that the pressure of fame and just, it's like what he said in the press conference against Devin Haney. And um, he pretty much was saying, listen, I, I, I don't do, you know, drugs. He said, uh, he said he smokes, he said he drinks. And he went on to say, you know, he's only 25. If what would everybody else be doing in his shoes, making the money he made at his age? He said, I bet they'd be doing a lot more and just, just weed. Right. So it seems like he's very truthful. I'm going to play a little bit from this, like a little, little bit from this, uh, from this video, just so you guys can kind of get a picture of, uh, his mind state, right? Big people. These are little kids really getting hurt. I've only said true things and they're saying that they're trying to spin the narrative. And I used to like Logan and everybody. I think, I thought, I thought they were cool, but now, nah, I don't, I don't care about you because you don't care about me. First of all, so everybody stop drinking prime. They're selling it a kid. Let's start there. He said little kids getting hurt, right? So once again, I don't know how much, I, I don't know the position of making millions so young and being so like as this mega star boxer and a celebrity to even question what he's saying, uh, if he if he's saying what he's saying, and it's like I I what I'm saying is I have no reason to like doubt him. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't think that that it's like he's just on drugs. I don't believe that, and it's like I just feel like when you see somebody kind of start to lose it like that, you gotta you gotta check the environment. Like what what's the environment like what. Like, if somebody was exposed to something that the masses, majority of us, may not know about or are not used to or don't see, how can we expect them to just be sane? You know, it's, it goes back, it goes to that quote, it's crazy to not be crazy in a crazy society. Well, uh, I'm he's in a different society, right? He's rich. Kid's rich. So, and he's and he's very, very famous. Very famous. Uh, I remember even when I first seen him, just seeing him on like Instagram and like, where did he even come from? Because he was just booming. He was, he was, you don't really see too many boxers who are just like, who just take over social media the way he did, right? He was, he was somebody that could have been like an actor too. He just, he was a golden boy in a sense, right? So I think what's more concerning too is also just him having a fight coming up and um, all that's happening around around his fight with him just, it's like he's having, a, he's having other fights. He's having other battles. He's having other wars. He's calling out this one. He's calling out that one. Meanwhile, the whole time, he's still got to be on top of his training. He's still got to be in shape. He's still got to be prepared to go and be a gladiator against Devin Haney, who is also a dangerous young fighter, undefeated fighter. And um, you still got to be mentally mentally strong enough to go in there and not get hurt. Because people do get hurt in the ring. People do die in the ring. Uh, but I'll, to be fair, if I was in his shoes, and let's say, let's say everything he's saying is true. And I... And I and I experienced what he experienced. I mean, you at that point you realize that there is a way bigger fight. That that boxing match would be nothing compared to the spiritual warfare. 
And I really believe that's really what he's trying to say to the people. Uh, he's almost talking as if he feels like his time is short and he doesn't have enough time. That That's how he's talking. Because uh, I, I have been listening to him for the past couple days. You know, he's been going on live and he's been going in. And it's almost as if he's talking like, like not just his time, but as if the people's time is short. And um, obviously that's extremely dangerous, but for someone like him, he views himself as, the, as a sacrifice in a sense to get true foul. I feel like that's that's definitely the the pers- how he's viewing it. You know how he's viewing it for sure. Uh, I remember I remember listening to the late great Tupac Shakur. I remember he had one song where he was like he felt like he felt like he was an angel surrounded by devils, and that can drive you crazy, right? We see all the time in movies, TV shows, and in actual life, we see how people act when they get traumatized. You know, some people have panic attacks, and you know, there's anxiety, or they start stuttering. They some people freeze up. You know, the PTSD when you see things that are just mind blowing that your mind just can't even fathom. So, if he's really been through an experience like that, with so much. Others before him, because this ain't new, like so many others before him have talked about, then, you know, uh, that's that's one heck of a situation. I don't know if you guys watched The Fall of House of Usher on Netflix, but um, when you're dealing with that level of type of people, yeah, that that would make... If Ryan is being truthful and honest with no agenda, that might be the most honorable act he could do, to be honest with you. I'm going to kind of skip through and see what else he has to say. I don't want to play too much of it, just because, like I said, like when it comes to the boxing world, I don't know what's good with the copyrights. Even though I think this video was just a, was just a clip taken off of his, uh, maybe his Instagram, I'm not sure. But uh, let me press play. Last and, and last and not least, and, but not least, not the last thing I'm gonna say, but f- time, f- time, f- go to Prime right now, said f- worshiper. Everybody go out Prime everywhere. Out Prime, out Prime, out Prime, and anybody post about Prime, it's out Prime. And I wanna end this off with prayer, cause I gotta, I gotta chill, gentle. You may wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. Jesus says that. Bastards, there's little kids hurting all three of you. But- he keeps repeating that, little kids. And if you for the kids, if you somebody, I feel like if you somebody with a big heart, you, you and you know what's going on as far as so much missing missing people, I mean, you gonna that is going to um, make you question some things. It is going to make you look further, like, well, what is going on? Why is this kid snapping out like this just randomly too just randomly snapping out right just randomly going off so then on top of that I see he's very religious so with him having that you know with him already being very religious and then him being cast into a world where it's just may not be the world he expected and him indulge in certain things he could feel like he has to do this in a sense, like like this is something I like I said a spiritual warfare, and um, he feels he he probably he probably feel like his soul is on the line, and that's, and that's just the honest truth. But um, man, it's it's definitely definitely one of those situations where it's 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 bringing a lot of question marks to the table, and you definitely get concerned for. Ryan Garcia's safety. Uh, like I said, he does. He doesn't seem like somebody who, who does drugs. Obviously, he does. Definitely, you can tell. He he sometimes like he definitely be high. Like at the pre- at the press conference, you could tell like, he was he was definitely high. He was definitely smoking some weed. But <laughs> but um, you know, I would even at that point, Ryan Garcia should should definitely take it easy on that too on on, on weed and drinking and just anything and just completely be be sober, you know, and make sure that his 
Vassal is just is just completely clear. Um for sure. You know, for sure. But with that being said, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, original link in the description. And if I'll be back with more soon. If you want more videos like this, hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell. Much love, yeah.